and the wind was blowing like, like a freight train. The storm starting late into the night into the early morning, bringing high winds and heavy rain. And it almost felt like it was going to lift me right off the right off the deck. It was crazy. I've never seen anything like it. When high tide arrived, it brought flooding to several parts of Hampton Beach, including the breakers by the Sea Hotel. Right now we got probably like two, maybe three inches of water in the bottom floor. The owner putting sandbags out to help. He says it was the worst flooding he's ever seen. It was working good, but the people don't go by slow, they just fly by. So you get a tidal wave in downstairs. Cloud trucks used to clear snow just two days ago, now used to clear the roads of water. The power of Mother Nature brought a crowd to the beach. Out of concern for safety, police restricted access, shutting down Ocean Boulevard and Ashworth Avenue, saying the waves could be dangerous with debris in them. On Ashworth mid-morning, you could see a kayaker making their way down the road. The damage left by the storm and its flooding will be the next thing that officials need to figure out. We're going to have to make another assessment to determine if there are any roadway uh, concerns, uh, any structural concerns in the area. And again, roads are remained closed in Hampton, like High Street here at this time. Police do want to remind you, you should never drive through any flooded water. And again, police are now assessing any possible damage to homes or roads that was caused by this flooding. We're live in Hampton. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.